Welcome back. It was an exciting night of football action in Northeast Michigan. We kick it off as Alcona hosts Augray Sims in our game of the week. Augray would strike first after an Alcona fumble. Keegan Bender takes the handoff and he's going to go untouched 40 yards into the end zone and the Wolverines take an early 6-0 lead. Alcona would respond trailing 12-0. They, they throw the push pass to Jeremiah Bullis and he takes this one down the sideline and into the end zone. Touchdown Alcona and it's a 12-8 Augray lead. After recovering an onside kick, they go deep. Garrett Summers hits Colin Walker on the go route down the sideline and he gets into the end zone for the score to give Alcona the lead at 14 to 12. The Wolverines would answer quickly as Bender takes the handoff and he gets in for his third touchdown of the half and Augray retakes the lead at 26 to 22. Late in the half it is Bender again using his power and speed and he lowers the shoulder scoring for the fourth time in the half. Augray takes this one taking down the undefeated Alcona 50 to 34. The Mayo Thunderbolts visited Roger City to face off against the Hurons. The Hurons took the six 16-0 lead quickly in the first quarter. Second quarter with the Hurons in scoring position and Spencer Whitford passes this one to Isaac Paul as he finds the end zone for a Roger City touchdown and it's 22-0. The Hurons go for the extra points as Whitford hands this one to Hayden Henkowski and it is good making it 24-0. Still the second and it's Miles Ball as Austin Fox gets a high snap as he tries to find Nathan Hurst but Whitford cuts him off for the Hurons interception. Roger City has the ball and Whitford hands this one off to Henkowski and he's off reaching the end zone for a Roger City touchdown making it 30 to 0. The Hurons attempt the extra points but Whitford tries to take one but can't find an opening so he scrambles to the other side and he just misses as he's tackled out of bounds before the end zone. Roger City defeats Maya with a final score of 76 to 22. We pick the game up in the third quarter as Tawa snaps the ball, which is handed to number two, Evan Mochte, with a nice run up the field. A few plays later, the snap is again handed to Mochte, who fights his way up the middle into the end zone for a Braves touchdown, 34-14 Tawas. Glen Lake ball as number three, Sean Gallus, scrambles in the backfield. Throwing downfield, the ball is tipped and intercepted by number four, Jacob Hazen, who is brought down by the face mask. Fourth quarter, in number 60, Warren Aylesworth and Benji Allen are there to make a stop in the backfield. Few plays later, Tawas again hands the ball to Mokti, who takes it in for another touchdown, 42-14 Tawas. Tawas goes on to win 44-14.